It's just a hard thing to remember her. Remember Brother Clifton. Amen. Believe God gonna give him a miracle. Amen. In that eye. God believe God can give me his vision back. If he did it in the Bible, that blind part of man's dollars, he could do it for him. Amen. Remember little Liam McClain, the four month old baby, is in the hospital. He's still hanging on. The third heart of his train prison isn't working, and he's in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. So remember that baby. His name is Liam. Remember the Herbert and Hubert Corners family. Uh, that is Sister Tammy Cross, and uh, found out yesterday that uh, James Cross, his brother, that passed away. Uh, so remember him, his family, rather. Remember Brother Rick Fields, he took the vaccine and he's had trouble out of it. So, uh, this kid said he's not been by tomorrow, she's gonna take him to the doctor. So, remember Brother Rick. Remember Sister Carolyn Chris, a uh, couple of months ago, uh, she had um, they found cancer, a uh, breast cancer. And the Lord touched her, did surgery, and she said, The Lord said he took it away, and they were wanting her to have some chemo. She said, I'm not going to take it. The Lord said, Touch, we touch, and uh, found out. Just like I say, I'm not on Facebook every day, so sometimes I don't find out nothing until way later on. But I saw what Sister Teresa Wigginton posted that she had a brain tumor and that they had to operate on her cancer. So uh, remember Sister Carolyn and Brooke Claude and Sister Elizabeth, his her daughter, Gregory. Uh, remember the Carla family today. That's Sister Teresa Adams' family. Her aunt passed away mm. today, uh, the other day, mm. and they were having the funeral today. So remember that family. Uh, remember Beth Daniels or Beth Munson. I believe it was last month. Her mother was in the hospital with breathing with COVID, I think. And then now her dad's in the hospital, I believe, with COVID. His breathing isn't good. So remember her mother and father. Remember Brother Doyle, he's uh, having, still having issues with his heart. So remember Brother Doyle, Ronnie Doyle, he used to pass the Common Church of God down here. Remember Brother Doyle. He used to be my pastor, amen. Remember little Sophie Sneed, which she's older now, but when she was 19 years old, they diagnosed her with dementia at 19 years old and she already had some challenges be that as it were so remember her and remember her mother and remember her father and her family remember sister mary jane remember don and judy disney remember brother russell gilbert he's in the hospital with covid he uh has been on the bed he's been in really bad shape and I see he had a post on there um, yesterday, I think, was what I read. It might have been on there before then. But remember him. Remember those that have cancer, Sister Julie Smith and uh, Pat Birchfield, Clyde and Leanne Sturgill, that's husband and wife. Both of them had cancer. Um, remember the sinners and the backsliders out there. May God get a hold of them. And not only did God get a hold of them, but let God get a hold of them and they listen. Yes, Amen. Yes. A lot. The Lord is knocking on the altars of their heart, but they don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. Amen. They want to be stubborn and rebellious and not accept the Lord or not get back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Or they listen to the devil when the devil says they're beyond saving. The devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. None of us are beyond saving. Right. Right. Yeah, man, I've seen them take the worst of drugs, the worst of drug addicts, the worst of horror hoppers, this and that and the other, and save them. So, baby, you ain't beyond saving. Mm -hmm. That's who Jesus died for is for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So remember them. Remember the doctors and the nurses and all the medical staff that uh, are taking care of these with COVID and 
as well as other problems and the ambulance drivers and all of that. Remember those who I saw out there in Pennsylvania and I believe it was New Jersey and Connecticut where they are lacking on bus drivers and teachers and uh, cafeteria workers. I saw one where uh, they didn't have a lot of because a lot of companies are putting the option on um, you either get the shot or you lose your job. So a lot of them don't want to be forced in taking the vaccine so they lose their job, which makes it short on everybody else. And in the end, it's the children and different people who suffer. And there was one principal who had the kid already missed breakfast, and she went and bought a ton of uh, Little Caesars pizzas so the kids would have lunch because they didn't have the cafeteria workers. And uh, like she said, a lot of the children, that's the only way they eat is when they go to school. At least they get breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. And for them not to have that mm -hmm. is a sad situation. So, I mean, I know I get what you're trying to do. I understand this and understand that. But when it comes to them babies, come on. Sometimes we might need to put ourselves, a little, uh, put ourselves aside, you know, so they are pulling they got the National Guard driving school buses. Mm. They even are pulling some workers that drive the, the delivery trucks for Amazon and them and pulling them mm. into the school system to drive so the kids can get to school. Now, a lot of now, come on now. Are they a lot of y'all complained and fussed and ran it and raved because you don't want the kids to be back in school? They need to be in school. They need to be in school. But yet, now look. A lot of them don't have a way to get to school because they don't have nobody to teach them. They don't have nobody to drive the bus. They don't have nobody to do this or they don't have nobody to do that. The substitute bus drivers are driving because they have either other ones are retired or the other ones are being stubborn. Come on. Pray and ask the Lord what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. We know our needs and our sufferings and mm -hmm. I want some time but sometimes we need to sit back and say, Lord, what do you want us to do? Mm -hmm. The Bible says to esteem your brother higher than yourself. Yep, yep, sometimes that's, right. that's all we do is think about who? Me, 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 me. Mm -hmm. I know you ain't liking that, but it's true. Mm -hmm. We think about me, me, what I want, what I need, what I'm going to do, what ain't nobody going to make me do. This is this and this is that. Mm -hmm. The word says you got to think about your brother. Right. Then your brother, I put it on your sick, hide in yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if I love you, I ain't gonna want to hurt you, mm -hmm. or I ain't gonna want to see you hurt. Mm -hmm. So in other terms, if you say you love me, I'm gonna put it that way. Because there's a lot of folks who say the word said what you say you love me. Right. You say you say you love me. That's what the word said. Who you have not seen. But how can you love and hate your brother who you see every day? Mm. You can't do it. You can't love the Lord and hate folks. Mm -mm. You might not like the ways, mm. but if you hate them when the people, I've heard people say, I wouldn't spit on them mm -hmm. if they was on fire. Baby, that's some hate. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't throw water on them if they was on fire. Yeah. That's hate. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pull them out of a burning building. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pull them out of the water if they were drowned. That's hatred. And you, you are a child of God, you got to get that out of your heart. Right. So, uh, you can't love the Lord. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you say you love me, you should want to protect me. Mm -hmm. If I say I love you, I should want to protect you. Mm -hmm. So let's think about that today. Right. But you got any other 